The famous Scottish novelist Sir Walter Scott was proud to hail from border stock. From childhood, he was lame from polio and was often sent to stay with his border relatives for his health. His grandfather Robert lived at Sandy Now, a farmhouse below Smalham Tower, six miles from Kelso. His aunt Janet told him the old tales of his reaving ancestors. While staying with his uncle at Rosebank in Kelso when Scott was about 16, he fell in love for the first time. The young girl was called Jessie, and he began writing her letters and poems. Lassie, can you love me weel? Ask your heart and answer true. Doth that gentle bosom feel love for one who loveth you? How beautiful thou art, I know, and every hour would tell thee so. Yet what avails thy blooming charms if they elude my eager arms? Sadly, it seems Jessie wasn't that keen, and young Scott was distraught. To Roxburgh's crumbling walls I hie, or to the ruined abbey fly, seeking mid relics of the past the pleasures they once round me cast. But monuments of days of yore I find can interest me no more. The more I seek, the more I see, the more I long to be with thee. But then she must have relented a little and allowed at least an embrace. Scott writes, But when I first became so blessed, to clasp thee fondly to my breast and my deep love express, I fancied in thy glowing charms I held all heaven within my arms, its bliss in thy caress. But the ardour didn't last, and at some point Jessie must have ended the friendship. A sad Scot wrote, For as her love was quickly got, so it was quickly gone. No more I'll bask in flame so hot, but coldly dwell alone. Not one to give up. He wrote to her again when he was a law student in Edinburgh, and she was there visiting a sick aunt. Come, Jessie, I impatient grow. Come hither, quick, I pray. With meekle speed unlock the door, I can no longer stay. But despite Scott's efforts, the teenagers went their separate ways. But I wonder what Jessie thought in Kelso as she saw her young suitor rise in fame and become a national treasure. <laughs>